Well, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Um, do apologise for not putting a vlog out for a little while, but I've been quite busy with work and stuff, so I uh, haven't really had a chance. I haven't really been doing much fishing for myself. Uh, so, yeah, I've decided to come to JB Pool today. I'm here for a couple of nights, so I thought I'd come here and do a, a vlog from here. I haven't been here for a while. I think uh, this, this time last year I was here, actually, on when I did my last vlog from here. And I think I've only done uh, one or two sessions from here since. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to be back on JB Pool again. Uh, I managed to get down on my syndicate the other week. I did a quick night on the syndicate the other week, uh, but it absolutely chucked it down my rain. I would, did plan on doing a vlog from there, but yeah, it absolutely chucked it down my rain all the time I was there. And uh, yeah, I just had the bivvy door shut up all the time. So yeah, that was a bit of a no-go. So yeah, like I say, I thought I'd uh, come and give JB Pool again a go again. Um, it's a nice shallow lake. I think it's average about four or five foot over. So yeah, it's got quite good winter form. And like I said, in my last vlog when I was here, I did quite well, I had a couple of fish. I had a nice uh, 21 pound common and a nice 27 pound mirror I had on that session. So yeah, that was good. So uh, the last time I was here, it was absolutely flooded. It was totally underwater, this place. I mean, the, the point over there, um, that was about a foot underwater. All this area up here, you couldn't get to. Uh, the only place I could fish was right down the bottom there and the car park swims. Uh, there was only two swims available, so yeah, I, I went down there and, and fished those here and managed to wink a couple of fish out. But yeah, it's looking beautiful now. Really into the throes of autumn now, all the tree leaves are falling off the trees, got the beautiful green and yellow colours and orange colours. Yeah, I really like this time of year. All the willows are now starting to drop all their leaves, and all the lilies are now starting to die off as well, so uh, yeah, still a few lilies in there, but yeah, they're all now dying off. So yeah, I've decided to fish the road bank this time. I caught a nice little swim actually, not swim number 32. And uh, yeah, I think that's due to rain all today and quite a lot tomorrow as well with forecast uh, torrential rain and uh, winds gusting up to 40 mile an hour. But um, yeah, the wind's still quite light at the moment. We have get, uh, getting a little bit of rain, it's a little bit drizzly, so, uh, but yeah. Just a nice little tucked away swim up here. And I found a little spot out there, like I said, I got here yesterday straight from work. It's a nice thing because my office where I work now is just about, about five minutes up the road from here. So that's another thing, that's another handy thing, being just up the road from here. So yeah, by the time I'd got here and uh, got the bivvy and everything up, it had got dark. So I didn't bother doing any film on last night, but I managed to get the rods out. I found a spot out there and I've got a couple of rods on that and I've got one just down there under this tree here that's a nice little clean gravelly spot under there so uh, yeah so all I did was chucked a couple of helicopter rigs out there last night and I've chucked a bottom bait rig out there this morning uh, last night just under the tree so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it another hour I think give it another hour see anything happens and if it don't then I'll get the rods in and uh, because it's so weedy out there um, the club actually struggled to get the blue dye to put in the water over the over the summer, uh, so yeah, it got really weedy. Uh, Canadian pond weed from uh, from bottom to surface, and like I say, that's, that's quite a shallow lake, so uh, the water's really clear, so the weed just really took over. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give it another hour and then uh, bring the rods in, and I might give the old choddy a choddy a go. I say the spot I found out last night was quite clear, but I'm not sure whether it's the old, over the old uh, lily rhizomes because it was a bit lumpy. So, but there wasn't any weed on it. So, what I might do is I switch over to the choddy. So, I say give it another hour and then uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, I'm gonna get in the bivy now because it's now starting to rain again. Put a brew on, tie some rigs up, and I'll get back to you in a bit.
So like I mentioned to you earlier, uh, the lake's really weedy at the moment and that's Canadian pondweed as well, so it's really thick and uh, in some places it's actually come quite right to the surface. So uh, I've decided to fish a trod rig on this session. Uh, I think the trod rig has been overlooked quite a bit ever since the Ronnie rig came out. I don't think a lot of people actually use the trod rig now. Uh, I, I myself certainly haven't used it for quite a long time. So I thought I'd give it a go on this session. So I'll just go through uh, how I tied my trod rig up and show you the components I've used. So to start with, just using a little 1.1-ounce uh, lead on there. That's just a 1.1-ounce square pair on there. Uh, the reason I'm using a small lead is because I don't really want it to sink into the weed too much and uh, drag drag the, the rig down into the weed. So yeah, using as small lead as I can. I'm only fishing about eight, eight or nine wraps out, so uh, yeah, I should be able to get this out nice and easily. So on the end of the actual leader itself, I've just got like a little quick link, quick link spliced on there. Uh, that's just to hold the lead on. And then I've just got like a little buffer bead that goes over the top there like so. And that's just uh, just to stop the quick link from opening up. The reason I'm using a fixed lead on here is basically because, because I'm fishing it in the weed, uh, I don't want to be dropping the lead. The reason is because I want uh, something to give this end of the leader quite a lot of tension. So if I do crack off or I do uh, lose the leader or whatever, that'll give enough tension on the end there for that rig to pull up and pull the bead off and to be able to slide over the top. If I was to actually drop the lead, there wouldn't actually be any weight on the end here to allow that to create tension to be able to pull the bead off. So that's the reason I'm using a fixed lead. I think it's a lot safer. Coming up about 18 inches, I've just got like a heli bead on there and that's, uh, that can just slide up and down there. And I've got that about 18 inches, two foot away from, from the lead. Coming up, I've got the, the rig itself. So basically I've just got like a normal trod rig tied up. Um, that's just on a big eye swivel there. And that is actually crimped on there. So that's the quarter mouth trap uh, that's crimped on there. And I've got a little bit of putty on there just to, just to give it a bit of weight to help that sink down. I've got a size four trotty hook on there with just a D-rig style loop on there and just a little rig ring on there. And I'll just put a little pop-up on there later. I'll probably use the, uh, the white scent from hell. Coming up, I've got one of the Corda trod sleeves on there. The little rubber trod sleeves and that slides over this leader quite nicely. And again, that can be moved up and down so you can adjust the length between your two beads, whatever length you want. I'm gonna have this quite long because like I said, the weed's quite long on there. So uh, I want this to sit on top of the weed. And then I've just got one of the no trace beads on there, the quarter no trace beads. That just sits over there nicely, like so. And then if I do, like I say, if I do get a crack off, that'll pull off there nicely like so. And the rig will just slide nicely off the end there. This leader itself is a lead free leader and it's not very heavy at all, it's actually just neutrally buoyant, uh, just negatively buoyant, I should say. So it'll just sink down really slowly, uh, which is ideal for a trod rig, really, because it'll sit nicely just on top of the weed. Uh, and I'm just going to use the weight of the putty on the rig itself just to help the, the leader sit down on top of the weed in the middle. And also at this end as well, I've just got a small little piece of putty on here and that'll just let, let this end just sit down nicely on top of the of the weed as well so uh, yeah i'm using about a meter and a half of the leader material here in the green so yeah hopefully we'll have a fish on this um like i say it's very weedy there's not hardly any spots out there at all so uh yeah let's get this baited up get another one on both rods and then i'm gonna put these two, these two out uh, on that spot out there about eight or nine wraps out and then what i'm do, gonna do is i'll show you the rig that i'm using under the tree there um, just a bottom bait rig, just underarm casting under the tree there. So uh, we get these baited up, get these on the rods and get them out.
three rods out on the spots now, so yeah, chuffed with that. Got the uh, left hand rod and the middle rod on our chod rig, changed them to choddies, and uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with how they went out, so uh, looking good. I did actually see a fish out there early, so I put the middle one right on top of a fish where I saw it, so um, there's definitely fish out there. And the right hand rod I've just put to the uh, right hand side, just under the tree there, and uh, just put a fresh rig on there with a uh, drilled out tiger nut with some foam inside it and a piece of pop-up corn on top. You're allowed to use tigers on there, so that's, uh, that's another good thing about this place. So yeah, the wind's now starting to pick up. I did forecast uh, high winds and torrential rain from this morning, but um, yeah, it hasn't, hasn't turned up yet. But like I say, it's now starting to get a bit windy, so, and uh, it's drizzling with rain. It's, ra it's rained a couple of times. But yeah, so yeah. Good to be back on JB Pearl again. Really is a nice place. And to be honest, I can't really believe I'm the only one on here today for a Saturday, this time of year. I'm the only person on here. Um, a couple of guys over there, or a few guys over there, they're doing some work on the stock pond. Uh, dug a stock pond out the other week and they're now putting a new otter fence around it. So uh, yeah, it's looking good for the future for this place. I know they've got a new fish, a few new fish coming next week to put in the stock pond. And uh, yeah, really is a nice club. This is uh, part of the Mercia Angling Club. If you're uh, new to my vlogs, and uh, or you haven't seen all my vlogs, go back and have a look on the ones approaching the new water. And that's from JB Pool as well. You'll see it in a bit of a different light. It was actually uh, really flooded last time. So, uh, but yeah, drop over there and have a look. And uh, like I say, there's a place called Mercia, Mercia Angling Club. And uh, they've got a stretch, a couple of stretches of the river as well. Uh, they've got a few other pools you can fish. So if you're uh, local to Tamworth or local to the area, this is in a place called Polesworth, and you're looking for a new angling club to join, uh, check out the Mercia Angling Club. I'll leave a link to their website in the, uh, in the description of this video so you can go over and have a look. It's only £140 a year to join, so uh, and like I say, it's Saturday, start of November, and I'm here on my own, so uh, yeah, you can't beat that. So what else have I got to tell you? Well, I've been busy with my new job, that's why I haven't really had time to put any new vlogs out. And haven't really had much time to go fishing myself really to be honest so uh, yeah i've been busy with my new job and as you can probably tell by some of the gear i've been wearing some of the gear i'm using now uh, i work for prologic now uh, doing all the videos and videography for prologic so uh, yeah that's really excited I'm really happy to do a, have a have a bit of a change of a job that's uh, totally new to, new to me so um yeah really enjoying it and also Savage Gear as well. I've been doing some videos for Savage Gear, the lure fishing, pike fishing uh, channel, and uh, the sea fishing channel as well. So if you're into your sea fishing or your lure fishing, pike fishing, and perch, check Savage Gear out. I'll leave a link in the description. You can have a look at that and perhaps give that a subscribe. And also the new Pro the Prologic um, page as well on YouTube. Go give that a look and a subscribe. And what I'll do as well, I'll put a link in the description of some of the videos that I've done already that are on there. Uh, appreciate if you go out and have a look at them and give them a like. So yeah, you can say the wind's now starting to pick up a bit. Nobody else is on, so I think what I'm going to do, make myself a nice coffee and sit and watch the water for a little while. Got my little scopes with me today, so it's not a very big lake. I'm not not chucking too far, so got my little scopes with me. They're perfect for this place. I do like my little rods. It's nice to have a big set of rods, but when you do get a fish on a nice little set of rods, it's, uh, yeah, it's nice. I've actually had both my PBs on these rods. 40 pound common or 41 pound common on a 42 mirror on these little nine foot scopes. Yeah, you certainly know you got them on. So, uh, so yeah, as you can see, them clouds are really picking up now. So what I'm gonna do now, like I say, I'm gonna get myself a nice brew, I think. Tuck myself away in my bivvy out the way, out the wind and rain, and uh, see if I can see any fish. So uh, I'll get back to you in a bit.
well it's dark now I had to put the light on in the bivvy so you can see me but yeah it's dark now and uh, yeah it's been raining constantly for a couple of hours now nothing hard nothing heavy rain but everywhere's wet now and damp so uh, but the wind hasn't really kicked up like it said it was going to it's gusting up a little bit now but not not 40 mile now like they said it was going to so uh, i'm hoping it's going to stay like that but yeah i haven't really seen a lot I've seen a couple of fish show out there but um nothing solid really any small things but i have seen there's a big ghosty uh, grass carp in here called casper and i've seen that right over the other side in the margin over the other side just seen this big orange tail coming out of the water um so but i don't think i'm gonna bother moving over there not tonight anyway but I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm going to put some bait out. I'm going to try not to put too much up because there's a couple of swans that are feeding around the area where I'm fishing. And uh, like I said earlier, this, this is about four or five foot deep average all over at the best of times. But uh, the water level is quite low at the moment. So I should imagine in some spots it's only about three foot deep, which uh, the swans would probably be able to get down on and uh, feed on. So whether they were just feeding on the weed or whether they were actually getting down onto the bottom to feed. The trouble with this place, because it's so shallow, you, you can't actually feel a drop. So uh, I don't really want to be getting a marker float out, out there either. So uh, what I'm going to do is just carry on fishing the singles out on them spots and uh, see how it goes. And I might put, put a bit of bait out tomorrow. So, uh, but yeah, it's about five o'clock now. So I think I'm going to get myself something to eat and retire for the night. And uh, hopefully we'll have a fish in the night to show you. But if not, uh, I'll catch up with you first thing in the morning. Well, good morning. Nothing to report throughout the night. Not even a bleep on the alarms. Uh, I did hear a few fish crashing out there last night, but I'm not quite sure where they were. They weren't too far away, um, but I, didn't, I couldn't see because it was quite dark last night. So, uh, But this morning, I have seen fish showing in the margins over there where I saw the, uh, the ghosty grassy yesterday. And uh, I've seen about three, two or three shows over there this morning. That's actually where I was going to go when I got here the other day. Uh, I've got my, my bar around there with all the gear on it. And uh, looked over here and I see a fish crash in the margin over here, so I decided to come over here instead. But yeah, I've seen, uh, seen a few shows over there now. Not too far off the margin, to be honest, but only about two or three rod lengths out, if that. And uh, I came down the other day and had a look round at lunchtime from work. And uh, saw a few fish showing over in that area as well, so uh, looks like they might be a place where they're holding up. I don't know how weedy it is over there, but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pack my gear up, get it all on the bar and get it around there. I'm here for another night, so I'd be foolish just to sit here if I can see fish showing over there. So, uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of geese on here at the minute. They're right pain in the ass. Been fighting all night, flying away, coming back in and crashing in the water again all night. Yeah, there's got to be uh, a couple of hundred of them at least. But yeah, they, they seem to all be staying down that end, so, uh, so yeah, that's a bonus. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, still a little bit windy, but I don't know if we're due any more rain today, I'm not sure. But there's a bit of sun in the sky over there now coming through, so, uh, so yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack all my gear up, get it on the barra, and get over that other side, see if I can get myself a fish. So yeah, next time you see me, I'll be over the other side, so uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. 
What a crazy afternoon that's been. Yeah, moved earlier. Got absolutely soaked when I moved around here. Just managed to get the rods out and the heavens opened again. I think it chucked it down for about two hours. So yeah, I got absolutely drenched again. And uh, because I've moved, obviously the wind's blowing straight over here and it's blown straight in the bivvy door. So I've had to have the bivvy door locked up again. So I've been shutting the bivvy for the last couple of hours. But yeah, it's uh, turned into a beautiful evening now. Wind's really dropped now and the sunset is lovely. So uh, yeah, really gonna enjoy the rest of the evening. And uh, I don't know if you've got to see over there whether that'd be a bit blown out. But uh, all the geese seem to have congregated over there now where I was earlier. So uh, that's one good thing, they're out of my way. But yeah, it's looking beautiful here tonight. So yeah, I put the solid bag on, put the solid bag on the left hand rod and uh, just drilled out a tiger nut, put a piece of yellow foam inside that with a uh, piece of pop-up sweet corn on the top just to make it nice and buoyant and uh, tied up a fresh rig with just a wide gape, size 4 wide gape hook on that and uh, just a piece of shrink tube on there as well tied in a solid bag and I put that just down to the left here that's just down there and uh, yeah I put the choddies out I just put them out here um, but I could actually see one of them on the surface when I put it out so yeah the weeds really thick all around here Re well more or less right to the surface so I've actually had to get the lead and rod out and uh, yeah I found a little spot a little bit further out it's not still a bit weedy but it's not Canadian pond weed on there it's just silk weed on there so I've changed them to helicopter rigs now and uh, yeah I'll put them out there so hopefully we're in the right area today or tonight but we'll see but yeah that wind's uh, got a little bit chilly now and it's quite chilly tonight even now that sun's going down it's uh, quite chilly so yeah not a lot to report them really to be honest so uh, yeah hopefully everything will dry out a bit now I'm totally soaked so I think what I'm going to do is put the kettle on and retire for the night and uh, hopefully something will happen in the night to show you but otherwise I'll see you in the morning. Seems I've been saying Bring me closer to God or closer to Mars I don't care Who's destined me in this fire Well, good morning. Very quiet night again. Nothing to report. Very windy and very rainy again last night, so I had to have the bibby door shut up all night, so I didn't really get a chance to look out and see much or hear anything. Did have a bit of a occurrence on my middle rod, but I think that was just a coot or a goose. There was some geese and coots on with a spot rummaging around in the weed, so uh, one of them would probably pick my line up. But yeah, another blank by the look of it. It's about nine o'clock now, so I'm going to start packing up in a little bit and uh, get myself home. It's Monday now, so uh, yeah, I need to be getting home, ready for tomorrow. 
I'm off to Dinton tomorrow to uh, film Marcus Clark. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that, filming for Pro Logic. So that's going to be good. So yeah, this place has been fishing really hard. Well, everywhere's been fishing really hard lately, I think, from what I've been reading on Facebook and Instagram and everything. That, um, a lot of lakes are really suffering at the moment. Not a lot of people are having a lot of fish out. Um, I had them two fish out of my syndicate about six weeks ago, five or six weeks ago, which was good. I had the 31 Common and the uh, 29 Mirror. I don't really think a lot's been out since then, to be honest. I think there's been a couple two or three fish out, but not, not what you'd expect for this time of year. And I know this place has been fishing really slow as well because uh, not a lot of people have been fishing it. Just because of the weed, I think, as well. We're locked down as well, and I don't think this place really gets busy at the best of times, so. So yeah, I can't believe I was the only one on this weekend. I mean, yesterday, beginning of November, I mean, that dropped to 990, the pressure yesterday. And uh, I'd expected uh, quite a few people to have been on, but yeah, I think I was the only one here yesterday. So uh, yeah, I think the fish are just on the naturals. Like I said, there's a lot of weed in here, so they're probably just got on the naturals now and they're not even bothered about bait when it's going in. So, so yeah, that's... Uh, that's a tough one really, what to do, whether to carry on on here or whether to stick out on Syndicate. I'll probably do both to be honest. So I think what I'm going to do from now on, I think uh, for my vlogs, rather than try and fit one vlog in on one session, um, now the days are getting shorter, it's quite difficult to film, film a vlog in one session. So what I'm going to do now is every session that I have over the course of the month, I'm just going to do a little bit of filming on that session and then I'll just put a vlog together at the end of the month. Uh, just about how my month's gone basically with fishing wise. We've worked now because I work nine to five office hours and uh, I only get weekends off now. My fishing's quite limited. And uh, yeah, so that's I think how I'm gonna go with my vlogs. So uh, hopefully the content will just be just as interesting. So yeah, like I said, I've got to go to Dinton tomorrow. I've got to film Marcus Clark for ProLogic. So that's gonna, I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be good. And uh, I've already done a couple of films for the ProLogic, so uh, don't forget to check out their YouTube channel and have a look at them. I'll put a link in the description of the uh, the couple of films that are on there already that I've done. Um, I filmed The Social in the summer and I also filmed, uh, did a short film with John Williams as well when he had the £50 common. So uh, yeah, they're both on there. And uh, I've got a few more to edit now that are going on there soon. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to that channel and give them a, give them a look and a like and uh, I'd appreciate your support on that. And also, don't forget, if you're new to my YouTube channel as well, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And, uh, yeah, you'll be notified of any new vlogs that I upload. Also, go back and check out my other vlogs as well. Like I said, there's one from here. Uh, that's the approaching the new water one. Um, from this time last year, actually, and I did have another couple of, no couple of nice fish. So, so yeah, as for this session, well, tried, tried over the other side. Uh, could have quite easily stayed over there, really, but I saw those fish show over here and... So I thought I'd come over. There's no point sitting behind motionless rods if you see fish on the other side. So I thought I'd come over here and give this side a go. But yeah, when I got over here, yeah, it's just, just chock a block of weed. I mean, where I'd actually seen the fish is so weedy and you're not, you're not a bit of fish. It's so, yeah, like again, like I said, they're, they're probably in the weed, feeding on the naturals, but I haven't seen anything since I've been over here. So, but yeah, put a bit of bait out yesterday, changed my rigs, put the helicopter rigs on with some, a uh, couple of pineapples on there. And uh, I just spotted some Royal Marine and some Atlantic Heat out there with some Atlantic Heat boilie pellets, some copper pe Coppins pellets, a bit of sweet corn, some uh, tiger nuts crushed and whole tiger nuts in there. So, yeah, so what I might do, I think I might look, put a little bit back out in that spot before I go. And then if I do decide to come down here, hopefully the fish would have been on that and cleared it a little bit at least. Uh, as for next week, I think, or the week, this next week or the week after, I think I'm going to be coming down here with Ed Betteridge as well, and we're going to be doing a film from here. He's going to do, be, be doing a session from here, so I'll be filming that, so that'll be quite interesting. So hopefully, he'll be at a winkle of fish out. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start having a slow pack down and uh, get myself home. It looks like it might rain again, so uh, whilst my gears will dry, yeah, I think I might uh, have a bit of a pack down and get home. So. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And uh, also don't forget to check out our Facebook group and our Instagram as well, which is A Carpet Connection. Give them a like and a follow, really appreciate that. Uh, we've got over a thousand followers now on our Instagram, which is good. Uh, so the next target, I suppose, is 1,500 or 2,000. So that'd be nice to get up to there. So check that out. 
So yeah, I think what I'm going to do now is start packing away. And if you don't hear from me uh, again, thanks very much for watching. I uh, really appreciate your support. Until next time, be lucky. <laughs>